According to tradition, the tiara of the royal bride must be borrowed directly by Her Majesty. This object of lust for all brides makes the bride's attire unique and spectacular. This was the case with Kate, Meghan and Lady D, and Sarah Ferguson, with a difference. The question, why didn't he have to return the tiara? Let's go back in order and go back to 1986, namely to July 23, when Fergie married Prince Andrew. The dream dress, as expected, was sewn by the British designer of Polish origin, Linka Syrak, satin with beading and almost three meters long train embroidered with the initials A and S silver pearls, and cost a whopping 35,000 pounds, an amount that Sarah managed to raise thanks to the help of Lady D. And to top it off, the cherry on the cake, a fabulous tiara hidden under a garland of gardenias, Prince Andrew's favorite flowers, only after she said yes did she remove her floral crown to reveal a stunning York diamond tiara designed by Gerard and valued at around £250,000. A gesture that symbolized her new status as a princess. The precious accessory consists of a massive five-carat central stone surrounded by circular patterns set with diamonds It is therefore impossible not to admire the beauty of the tiara, which the Duchess of York never returned to Queen Elizabeth II. It's not a stance or a breach of tradition, just that, unlike most royal weddings, it was a gift to Sarah from Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. Consequently, it belongs to him and continues to belong to him even after his divorce from Andres in 1996, coincidentally the same year that Carlos and Diana's divorce was formalized. Sarah wore the beautiful tiara on many occasions other than her wedding day such as on her official trip to Canada in 1987 or to Australia the following year, it was customary at the time to wear tiaras on royal tours. The last time we saw her in a York tiara was in 2001, when she paired it with a black gown during the white tie and tiara ball hosted by Elton John. In short, for Sarah, it is not just a jewel, but a real memory and part of her personal history, inextricably linked to many truly emotional moments.